Robinson Elementary and Kaiser Elementary are quite similar. Both are housed in aging buildings, both are at capacity, and then some. This building, as amazing as it is, is 90 years old. It was never meant to house as many kids as it is, um, and our enrollment continues to rise. While some schools have major construction projects proposed in Prop R, Robinson and Kaiser are banking more on the flexibility it will provide. Adjustment of attendance boundaries is coming in Kirkwood. Passage of Prop R will allow wiggle room to keep kids already in school where they are and also provide more space, the lack of which right now is forcing some challenging situations, to say the least, for learning. So right now we have um, interventionists using our cafeteria. Um, we'll have people that have to do interventions in the hallway. Um, a storage closet's been converted and so when we have less student capacity, it will open up some of those larger learning spaces. At either school, you don't have to pass through too many hallways to find kids in breakout sessions, often interventions for those most in need of help. Which is really sad um, that the students who are needing the most uh, attention and instruction right now are needing to do it in the hallway. Oftentimes the students that I'm working with in reading intervention get distracted. Maybe it's their friends that are walking by and they want to say hi or maybe it's older brothers or sisters that then they become embarrassed and and then it just it breaks down the learning because kids need to feel comfortable and safe when they're learning. If a student that I'm working with begins to hang their head and and not give me the best effort that they have then it really is sad and, and hard to watch. At both schools, Prop R will help alleviate much of this problem, and those won't be the only benefits. Security is about to improve district-wide. Some of these cameras are, are pretty dated, so what we need to do is move into the 21st century and make sure that uh, we're up to, up to speed when we speak in terms of camera. Security cameras across Kirkwood right now make up only about a third of what most school systems our size have. The cameras are not an end-all but they are definitely an, an asset when you're looking into uh, any vandalism or anything potentially that may have happened uh, on our campus. And with those cameras will come a major upgrade in lighting, both for the images and basic peace of mind. Fall and winter, um, there are many times I leave the building seven, eight o'clock at night if we have any after school events, um, even leaving after 5 p.m., it's very dark outside. Like, can't see your hand in front of your face. Um, and our staff will get out their cell phones and use flashlights, but um, that doesn't really make anyone feel safe. For me and for our community to know that they have that lighting, that everyone will see our children as they're going by on the sidewalks, as they're walking, because our playgrounds are constantly busy and we always have community members playing and having fun here. There is an accessibility piece to Prop R as well. For these schools, Kaiser will get a second secured entrance at the door that is already accessible to people with disabilities. At Robinson, brand new access will be provided right at the front door. In both cases, it will be easier for everyone to enter the building we become a more inclusive educational environment. They also see Prop R as finishing a job that started a decade ago. That was when voters approved a measure that allowed these schools to benefit from spacious gyms and fantastic libraries that some in our district still do not have. Right now, Westchester and Tillman have libraries that don't even meet state standards. And Tillman's gym has a daily ridiculous merging with the cafeteria. Prop R will let those schools catch up with the rest. We talk a lot about like continuity in education and having a, a guaranteed experience when you're a Kirkwood kid. Um, and so to think about the fact that a library may look very different in one building than the other, it, it isn't fair, and I hate to use that word, but we want quality education for all Kirkwood kids. Prop R is an investment in schools, but it's also an investment in the community at large. People like Patrick Everly, who sell homes for a living, will tell you the value of every property in the district hinges on the Kirkwood School District remaining among the state's best. I'd say, without a doubt, the school district is one of the most important characteristics of a property. Uh, I mean, I always tell my clients, you can 
fix up your house. You can do the windows, the kitchen, you know, you can put sweat equity into a house. But what you cannot change is things like the school district and the location. And so it's very important that those things that you can't change are solid for your property value and for your resale. Higher property values, better safety, better education for kids, and a zero tax rate increase bond proposal. That, in a nutshell, is Prop R. Please vote on April 6th.